Alright to everyone. Mm. Let's go ahead and uh, I read a few entries here. Uh, Abel. Oh, we're gonna get a goddamn uh, Abel entry. I hope that the game is not gonna spoil anything at this point. I'm really afraid that I'm gonna read about him. It's gonna spoil some stuff, but I don't know. The boy confined within the uh, consol uh, Consolidated Advanced Technology Testing Ground, where the Zohar project is, behind, uh, is uh, being conducted. He is the, uh, the exclusive pilot of Omega. But the chain of events leading up uh, to that are veiled in mystery. Like, yeah, it's been like, what? Three games and they just gonna just... Can I mention him now? I mean, there's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of problems with the story overall, and I really didn't have the opportunity to criticize uh, some of these uh, aspects because you know, in the end, it was an incomplete story. I've always uh, known that uh, whenever I finished the first and the second game, that I I, I knew that there is uh, some sort of a continuation. So the uh, the limitation or the drawbacks of the uh, of the storytelling is definitely something that you should uh, I should be at the very least uh, wait for it until uh, like m maybe it actually can make sense once the story concluded. But uh, I'm showing uh, uh, the game definitely is showing signs that uh, they retain these uh, flaws and I don't know. Afflicted with a uh, psychological condition akin to autism, he is unable to communicate normally and is unable to achieve the partial transmission of his uh, of his will only through the use of the same UM and support system used to communicate with Sakura. What? Like, Sakura definitely had something uh, with that, but they didn't make it clear. Like, they had to dive within her to actually start communicating with her, but we don't know her her original state. Well, we kind of saw a little bit of her. I think I remember a scene in the second game where she was playing some at the piano. And she didn't have really not a lot of communication. No, I think she did have like, communication. Like, she actually noticed... Uh, Junior or something. I don't know. I don't know. I cannot remember. It's still. Uh, I don't know. It's still weird. But yeah, Abel is definitely. Uh, you know, looks like um, he looks like Faye. <laughs> First and foremost, which uh, make him interesting enough. Chris Foster. Ugh. <laughs> These look ugly as sin. The general term uh, for the observational reallians constructed by Professor Yoki Mizrahi in order to collect data to use uh, for Momo's development. Krish Vasser is also the term for cherry brandy. Is that so? Well, cherry brandy? Brandy? Well, I'm not a... Uh, I don't drink, uh, viewers, so uh, don't ask me about, uh, you know, don't ask me uh, about alcohol. Uh, broadly inter in interpreted interpreted sorry interpreted bo uh, interpreted both Momo and Krish Vosters are realians uh, which uh, Professor Mizrahi built for the sake of his daughter Sakura the circumstances of uh, surrounding their construction however are visibly quite different we still don't know why why he did that. Momo is the entity closest to Sakura and was born complete. The Krishvasers, on the other hand, were merely tools uh, of the experiment made so that Momo could be completed. God damn. And then to be disposed of. Holy hell. They are... Uh... So this still... Th doesn't that mean that... Uh... Joachim is a madman? Like, he is a, a bad guy because, uh, supposedly in this game's world, Realians have feelings, and if they die, then 
That's a consciousness. So... Huh. Yeah, let me read that again. Momo is the entity closest to Sakura and was born complete. The Krishvasars, on the other hand, were merely tools of the experiment made so that Momo could be completed and then to be disposed of. Uh, what was the point of that Reallian, the, the Krishvasar that survived in the first game, though? Uh, to the Krishvasars, Momo is the subject of both admiration and envy. They didn't. They definitely didn't show envy. This is not necessarily to say that um, many of the Krishvasas that traveled with Albedo felt jealous of Momo. Yep. The reason the Krishvasars uh, never left Albedo's side, no matter how harshly he treated them, was because of a strong resonance uh, with the close yet untouchable existence in Albedo's life, and the feeling similar to unconditional love that it inspired. Does that have something to do with Momo being uh, posi uh, reacting, reacting positively to Junior as well? Because Junior uh, and Albedo were conjoined to twins at some point, so, you know, probably share the same wavelength or whatever. Because this is something definitely the game is gonna, uh, gonna try and make sense of, uh, or try and use it as something that, uh, that you base uh, on at the very least. Uh, yeah, this, uh, this, uh, this is enough for now, viewers. Let's go ahead and continue. Uh, I think I talked to you, right? It's, uh, the area below here. It's section 9. It's used entirely to, to, uh, for transporting, uh, just for, for transporting in materials for the research ward. It's also used as a passageway during emergencies. Uh, emergencies, huh? I don't want to go there yet. Emergencies. The uh, there's, uh, there are a few steps here. Let me the take. Press the switch. Yes. Okay. What's the point? Uh, what? <laughs> How can I open All this? Well, we cannot get that treasure chest, sadly. For each are I cannot close the, the door again. Maybe later. I cannot open this. Uh, is that it? I cannot. Uh, I cannot go any further. All right. I thought this area is gonna be much, much bigger than it is, but I guess not. We cannot go down from here. Yes, sir. We cannot go down there. Yeah, let's go ahead and head east from here. All phases of the performance program are now over. Huh? For each Is that you, Chief Uzuki? Ted. Well, he seems to recognize us. I don't recognize him. Everyone's down below. They're a bit depressed about uh, the results of today's uh, mock battle. Why is that? They thought that uh, Momo could win? But they've been working on the uh, the Omega at the very least, right? They've been working on the Omega. Uh, what the hell are you drinking now? Have I say something cold? No, no. Today I'm drinking just regular tea. Tea uh, with mint. Hmm. I've seen your face somewhere before. I know, you're uh, the person in the photo on Chief Allen's desk. Oh, so you're uh, the former chief? Ah, damn. Welcome to the research ward. Uh, board the elevator here to reach Vector's laboratory. They seem somewhat frantic. Maybe it's because of the mock battle today. Mind you, the section's always uh, disorganized and frantic. Disorganized. It's not your job to organize that. Well, uh, that's the vector logo up uh, above the elevator, or, or what I assume is the elevator. For each weapon are requested in the More talk. Room. Before I was assigned to security here, I was assigned uh, to security in the Special Wars Development Sector. DW SWDS. Switz? Suits? Suits? All phases of the it's not a place you can go normally. Supervisors for 
But I heard there's another Omega there that's uh, there that was developed uh, separately from the current Omega. Really? I mean, they did mention that they were trying to make multiple Omegas, which is uh, weird. Because that Omega, that, that Omega that they managed to salvage, like, they've been working on it for 14 years. I cannot assume that you can actually make something like that in, like, in a few months. I don't know. It's not a place you can go normally. What, the, what does that even mean? All right, let's go ahead and hit, uh, use the All elevator. All phases of the performance oh. program are now over. Supervisors for Zohar, uh, project receptionist and uh, vector receptionist. I get nervous when that a girl from Victor is here. Girl, what are you talking about? Oh, I don't mean that I don't uh, get along with her or anything. Supervisors for each weapon are requested in the conference room. You mean this? This uh, receptionist? If you take that elevator down, you can go to Victor's laboratory. What's below that? What are you talking about? I've never heard of anything further down. <laughs> are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Well, there's a save point over here, viewers. And of course, as always, the saving, uh, saving in video games is for pussies. <laughs> Passage to Section 9 is currently locked. God damn it. Yes, we'll have to use the elevator here. Move to the Victor Second R&D Division Lab. Yes, sir. Uh, head down uh, here. Maintenance? Maintenance room? Yeah, it says maintenance room. On top of this uh, door. Cutscene? Chief! Welcome back, Chief. Oh, come back, Chief. <laughs> I'm glad everyone is looking well. Too bad about what happened down there. Well, considering what she was fighting, I think she did a pretty good job. No, yeah, I thought so too. I mean, uh, I mean, hmm. Maybe it was she was faking it. Yes, you're right. By the way, could you stop calling me Chief? I don't work here anymore. Um, uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's the point where they uh have to uh have to confess that they never knew her first name uh, to begin with. <laughs> Which happens uh, uh, more often than you think uh, of in, uh, in, uh, in uh, workplaces, viewers. No matter where you go or what you become, you're still our dear chief. Yeah, well, people know uh, each other at, uh, you know, uh, with the... Uh, with last name bases, and uh, sometimes when the when someone asks for a certain person, like by their first name, they they don't know him, or probably if they're, uh... <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. Right, Chief Ridgely. Huh? Oh, uh, well, yeah. No, oh, he seems uh, depressed. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Where's Cosmos? She got beat up pretty badly, so she's undergoing maintenance. Cosmos. She's sleeping? You're still doing your best. But what am I doing? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Gotta be honest with you, viewers, I've been there. I've been there. What would you think of me if you saw me now? Chief. What am I doing with my life? I guess you're concerned about Cosmos. Oh, 
it's not that. I... After seeing Cosmos and everyone, I just feel like you've all left me behind. Uh... Excuse you? That's all. Chief. You're the one that, uh, that left, uh... Uh, you're the one that's actually left on your own, uh, uh, or on your own, uh, you know, how do you say it in English, you know? Uh, yeah, you're the one that, that, uh, that, uh, that left. Nobody actually asked you to, uh, to get the hell out of here. I don't think even Victor asked you to, to, uh, yeah, to, to resign or anything. I'm sorry, I think I'll be going. Thanks for everything today. That's it? Chief, um, tomorrow. Hmm? Tomorrow? Uh, would you like to go out for a bite in the city? Oh, shit. He's, uh, he's, uh, asking her out? I mean, they're not, uh, you know, they're, they're not, uh, you know, uh, colleagues anymore, so I guess there's, you know, that's fine. I found this great restaurant the other day, and... Deny? Sure. Sounds good. Oh, shit, she didn't deny him? Yeah, I figured you'd be busy, and maybe next time. I said sure. Huh? What? Really? Yeah. When would be a good time? I'm free all day. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you know, I don't have a job or anything, so I don't, I don't got uh, anything uh, to do, so yeah, sure. Ah, uh, um, okay. Let's meet in the hotel lobby at 7 p.m. 7 p.m.? I'll come get you. I mean, he probably uh, have to go uh, to get back early because he he actually has a job. <laughs> okay, I'll be waiting. Cause 7 p.m. Uh, is uh, is a little bit early. I don't know for me for a uh, for a dinner at the very least. Thank you. See you then. Good night. Damn, he's happy. Good night. Am Alan's gonna get some? Excuse me. Ah, oh, this is the the Roth guy. Is this the Cosmos maintenance room? It's smaller scale than I expected. Okay. Special advisor Roth Mantel. Why are you here? Did you come to gloat to the losers? <laughs> Calm down, Tagashi. I apologize. What can we do for you? Oh, that's quite all right. What he said isn't exactly wrong. No. Excuse me? I mean, I came here to finish off the losers. I need you to gather your things together at once. Wait a minute. What about Cosmos' repairs? There's no need. What? Is he kicking uh, the Victor team out? I mean... Does he actually have the, uh, the authority to do that? Cosmos will never awaken again. What are you talking about? This will explain it. What? Damn, cool looking uh, iPad. Decision to dispose of Cosmos? What the hell is this? It's exactly what it says. The subcommittee voted on the decision a short while ago. 
Uh, why would they dispose of her, though? I mean, is her maintenance that expensive? I mean, she can work as is. There is no need for us to waste our resources. So we're pouring it all into Telos's development. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid she's going to be scrapped. Well, I guess, uh... They voted for the uh, tanned waifu, huh? Not the pale one. I can't believe it. How could they scrap Cosmos? No, oh, that's it. Cosmos is dead. Let's see. I suppose I'll return to the hotel for now. Are they gonna have uh, anything new? I heard the demonstration uh, at the uh, fourth performance ground is over. Yeah, I heard that too. Apparently, they even used uh, used capture noses. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> if you haven't heard, uh, you know the announcement uh, that's been uh, on repeat for got for the whole hour. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> How the, how the hell did you guys uh, know that they ended the demonstration? Captured Gnosis, huh? Oh, it's you. How was the demonstration? I don't want to hear about it myself. Uh, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it myself. Why is there a... a comma here? They may be captive, uh, but... Uh, it'll still pass on uh, coming face-to-face -face with... But I'll still pass on coming face to face with Gnosis. What does that even mean? Passage through this point is prohibited due to the large scale demonstration taking place at the fourth special performance grounds today, but. It, it ended! <laughs> it ended! Let's move along. I guess uh, there's nothing else uh, that we can do other than just uh, get back to our hotel room. All phases of the performance program are now over. And using captured gnosis uh, for experiments, I'll never understand what's going on at the top. I mean... I mean, we're trying to uh, to counter the gnosis. It makes sense that we are gonna get... Uh, that we uh, we're gonna use tr uh, try an experiment on them, right? Apparently, they hold the gnosis uh, in a solidified state using something called a Hilbert ca a Hilbert cage. But who knows when uh, that device might break down? You know. <laughs> yeah, we're doomed. What? There was a special demonstration at the fourth performance program. No one told me anything that big was going down. Oh, you suck, Emilio. If it was the fourth uh, performance grant, if it was the f at the fourth performance grant, they use captured gnosis too. How the hell do you know? How the hell uh, did you know that they were gonna All phases of the use gnosis? Are now over. I heard the demonstration at the fourth uh, performance grants used gnosis. Huh? You're aff uh, affiliated with Victor, aren't you? You should know more about uh, how uh, the Hilbert cage works than uh, than I do. Is she? I mean, she worked on Cosmos. I think she definitely not has a, an idea of how the Hilbert effect works. This is the whole, the Zohar project information booth. Yeah, I think we talked to you. Sometime I see a little boy inside the research facility. What's he doing there? I've seen him too. It's like he's always gazing off uh, into the distance. He wears a lab coat. He wasn't. So he's probably with uh, one of the labs. He wears a lab coat, so he's probably one of the labs? One of the labs? <laughs> this sentence doesn't make any sense. I wonder if he's uh, with his parents. Little kid wearing a lab uh, suit? I don't think I don't think this uh, that was uh, well translated. You saw the TPXX, didn't you? What was it like? All phases of the 
TBXX, uh, I think they mean the Talos, huh? I've heard rumors about the T-Weapon, but I've never seen uh, the actual unit. I wish I had uh, been able to see the demonstration like you did. She looks better than the Cosmos. She looks better than the Cosmos. Well, I think that's that. Uh, for this area of yours. Yeah, might as well uh, just to head back to uh, the hotel. I'm gonna try and... Uh, I'm gonna try and go to the park. Maybe that guy managed to remember. Maybe that guy managed to remember the password. About uh, the password of the uh, special dish or whatever. I don't think these guys over here are gonna have anything new to say. Right? All you ever talk about is food. Can't you hold a serious conversation? <laughs> hmm, let's see. That new anti Nessus weapon system is a hot topic at the moment. I heard they are holding a, a huge demonstration at the facility by the coast. You're right. It should start uh, about now. Man, I envy the guys that go, that uh, get to go and see it. It was impressive. Have you finished uh, visiting the facility? Yeah, these are new entries. Viewers, new dialogues. It's not often uh, uh, one gets a chance to watch a demonstration of the Zohar project. This area is blocked, huh? Where does it lead? Hmm? You know, uh, you know things are bad when they start selling weapons in town. What is it? Do you want uh, some uh, some <laughs> some of my items? No, I see, I see. Maybe he's gonna sell me something later. Pete, can't talk to the kids. My uncle's a Sigma file collector. No way! If he is a collector, he must have a lot of cool stuff. My uncle works uh, in Nintendo. I heard if you uh, fill up the file, you get something really cool. I wish I get that. Uh, I wish I could get that. If I had a Sigma file, I'd make sure to collect all of it. All right, all right. I'm gonna try and collect them all. I don't know if this game is gonna have uh, something similar to the to the last game, viewers, where we'll, some of the post content, uh, uh, the uh, the side content for this game is gonna be locked uh, for after. Uh, you finish the game. I, I might actually get into them. Um, probably not on this playthrough, though. We'll see. We'll see about that. I really don't know how... Uh, like, uh, since this is a new... Pl uh, a blind playthrough, viewers, I really am not sure how am I going to... Uh, to, uh, to do these side content. Like, uh, from what I know, from what I know, viewers, there's uh, no such thing as, uh, you know... Uh, post-game side content. Uh, like the second game. You ever wondered about uh, what Realians eat? Uh, that is actually interesting. Basically, all they need to do is absorb uh, the nutrients they need to maintain their bodies. But humanoid Realians eat just like people. Though it's not like Realians are rare these days, so I'm sure you've already seen them eating. I have never seen any Realian eat. It does seem kind of weird when uh, you think about Realians eating uh, synthetic food, though. Didn't you just wait? Didn't you just say that they they eat uh, just like us? So they also eat synthetic food. What is synthetic food? <laughs> what kind of food? Like uh, processed meat, sausages, ham, spam, <laughs> spam. <laughs> they eat spam. <laughs> Ugh. They eat spam. Is that it? The food of the realians. Wouldn't it be nice to take a trip together? Now that our children uh, are grown. Hmm, yes, but you know. I really don't like those, uh, gate jumps. What are you talking about? Don't you love that, uh, those sudden, uh, lurching feeling at the moment of the jump? 
Well, yeah, but just think about it. Uh, the space outside... Uh, the space outside the hypertube is filled with uh, weird material. What do you mean weird materi material? And on top of that, they say that uh, the chance of encountering Gnosis inside the hyperspace has increased lately. I mean, if it's not safe, you, you shouldn't go. Member Yuli Mizrahi of the Contact Subcommittee was Professor uh, Yoki Mizrahi's wife, right? Uh, that's what they say. She's uh, one tough woman. I don't know about that, though. She, it, it, her personality definitely changed from uh, game one to game two. The arc of her like uh, hating on uh, Momo and then uh, and then uh, warming up for her later wasn't really well. Uh, uh, well, uh, how do you say it? Like, well-constructed, well-told? I don't know, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was weak. True, it sounds good to say, uh, you're carrying, uh, you're carrying on your late husband's will. But he was aiding Utek, you know? I wouldn't be sure about that. I can't imagine a genius like Prof Professor Mizrahi cooperating with a group of fanatics without a good reason. Smart people can't uh, do anything wrong, right? Like Einstein. He never created uh, a weapon of mass destruction, no. Never did. The Manhattan Project, huh? I heard you're friends uh, with the people in Vector, so... You probably know a lot about the uh, joint demonstration, huh? Well, I heard too. The Federation's new weapon isn't uh, something huge like the uh, Ryan Maiden. Ryan Maiden? I forgot what the hell is a Ryan Maiden. It's not the. It's not another name for the Merkaba, right? Oh my God, you're the, the ugly kid. Hey, reallians never break down, right? Uh, I think they die. <clears throat> Actually, I don't know. Like, do they? Uh... What's uh, their life expectancy? Do they live for uh, for hundreds of years? I think. Uh, well, even cyborgs can't live for uh, for too long. I heard that once uh, a long time ago, a whole lot of realians broke down, but that doesn't happen anymore, right? Oh, I mean the uh, old Melsha thing that happened. Uh, huh. The, uh, do they not teach that in, in school? Shouldn't you be in school? And you guys too? You with the uh, doing, uh, this little kid on the right doing some sort of a... <laughs> a Fortnite dance? Is that the new Fortin Fortnite dance? What is that? Is that the floss? Is that a floss? Or is that uh, unclogging the toilet? <laughs> unclogging uh, the toilet? Do you want me to pray that we'll get married uh, when we grow up? Whoa! I don't think you should be thinking about things like that. Who are you going to pray to? God? Oh my! <laughs> I don't think you should be thinking about that at your age! What? Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know. I guess to the stars, my goodness, they're already atheists, huh? These guys believe in uh, the space butterfly. My mom said there's no such thing as God. Oh my goodness. W where do you live in goddamn... Uh... I'm not gonna say it. I'm, like, I'm not gonna say it. I don't want to anger, uh, you know, the people that live in California. <laughs> she said that human beings <laughs> are like gods because... Uh, we can make things like the UMN. Uh, we don't know uh, who created the, UM the UMN, though. Well, that's not very romantic. I don't know. Like, my idea, viewers, is that uh, you shouldn't make kids think about things like that because uh, it's a waste of time. It's better to make... Uh, it's. 
it's better to guide kids uh, into uh, into uh, being uh, sustainable, yeah, self-sustained human beings first and foremost before actually thinking about things like that. Like, because these things, in the end, like uh, regardless of my own beliefs, viewers, I don't think these. Uh, matter that much especially since uh, these things uh, are uh, you know you're gonna be, you're gonna be born into a family with its own traditions and its own beliefs and they were gonna guide you to that for cert for sure and the, usually regardless of uh, these different uh, like regardless of uh, people's different beliefs uh, the only thing that matters in the end is that uh, uh, you know that the kid should be uh, so uh, you know should uh, be so sustained he can actually uh, when he uh, grow uh, at an age and or like an, in the mid teens he can actually uh, hold his own and that's the most important thing more important than anything else uh, in my opinion of course uh, uh, guiding him with good morals is definitely uh, important because uh, that's why uh, you know regardless of the religion uh, I think most religions like uh, holy religions at the very least you know uh, have the basis for a uh, for a person to actually grow up to be a a, a, a a good honest man regardless of what he believes if he believes that uh, Jesus is the uh, second uh, the is the is god's incarnation on earth or believes uh, in the torah or believes in that cows uh or you know or the incarnation of humans well uh hindu is definitely not a holy religion but regardless as long as you're a, a good human being is that's in the end that's what's uh matter in my opinion uh, that man I met on Milsha 15 years ago, I can't remember if he said his name. He said he was flying on a magnificent ship. 15 years ago on Milsha? I don't think that was Matthew. Oh well, that's just uh, a lovely memory. Well, do you make love with uh, Matthew back in the day or something? Were you hooked with Matthew or something? You said you'd uh, buy me a connection gear. Why won't you? What the hell is a connection gear? Kids don't need one. I'll buy you one when you're a little older. What the hell is a connection gear? Is that a, like a mobile phone? You're mean. Fine. I'll get mom to buy it. I don't think it's a good idea to ask the uh, men without uh, uh, precaution. Oh, so it's, it's a mobile phone, huh? <laughs> There's been a lot of uh, net-based terrorism and such, so you just don't know what might happen. Uh, that is a good idea. Don't uh, let your kids uh, have free access to the interwebs. It's a dangerous place. I just got myself a new connection gear. But the agent character that came uh, with it is an annoying monkey. I wanted bunny! Monkey see, monkey do. Monkey pee all over you? Well, if that monkey is gonna pee on you, then that is a big problem. Uh, where the hell is the guy? That used to be here. Did I miss my chance to... Uh, for that? Did I actually miss, miss my chance for the... for... getting that? Actually, I do have the, uh, the checklist here. Enter the cafe and chat with the Okana. Asks... For the secret menu, walk to the park, chat with the Zakios, go to the Mobius Hotel and start the scene where you meet Chaos. We haven't started the scene where we met Chaos. Well, actually, we did meet Chaos. You will then start the cat uh, testing grounds event. Before returning to the hotel, speak with the Zakios again. He's not here, though. He's not here. Zakios is the guy that uh, used to stand here. Maybe he's uh, me changed his uh, where he uh, where he was standing. I'm glad that's uh, over. Now I can get back to work. If you strike that pipe with a heavy blow, it'll open the water gates. I think we know about that. Where the hell is Ezekiel or uh, Zakios or whatever his name is? Oh, that's him. 
I heard that uh, there's a way to revisit uh, places you've uh, been before in the past. I suppose you have touch. Uh, you have to touch a green uh, plate-shaped object, but I've never seen anything like that. Are you not gonna tell me? Oh, hey, the cafe. Uh, Seems secret menu. I remember the password. Oh shoot! This password is double whammy. <laughs> Double whammy. Hope you find it useful. Alright, I guess we got the info. Double whammy. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, Judge uh, Dredd, uh, uh, the original movie of Judge Dredd. Double whammy. <laughs> what a stupid name. What a stupid, uh, what a stupid phrase. Double whammy. The double whammy. Whammy kablooey. Kablooey! Alright, uh, yeah, before we actually head to the hotel, let's go ahead and try and, uh, and do, uh, this quest, uh, regarding to, uh, in regards to the uh, secret menu. Double whammy. I don't want to talk to you. Get that eye away from me. So we need to go back to the cafe and... Talk to Oksana. Ready to order. I'm looking for the secret menu. Oh, you know the password? Then tell me what it is. No pain, no gain. Time is money. Keep your feet on the ground. Uh, I kind of want to test uh, uh, some of these. Well, let's go ahead with the double whammy. Wow, you got it. All right. I'll add the uh, carnelian egg cuisine to the normal menu. Woo, you, you, we unlocked it to everyone. I'll add our legendary dish, carnelian egg cuisine, to the menu. All right. Looks like uh, the Cornelian uh, cuisine is really popular. <laughs> if I'd known it'd be like this, I'd have suggested to the manager to add it uh, to our menu earlier. I mean, everyone is talking about about it. So that's that. Then we need to talk to someone else that we actually did talk to over here. Not you. So is this this place where you can get the legendary egg cuisine? There's someone here that actually wants to eat it. Was it you? No. Yeah, that's uh, the guy. I don't know what happened, but their uh, secret menu suddenly appeared. Yeah, it's thanks to me. What the hell? I didn't... I'm sorry that I did that. <laughs> hey, what the hell? And after I finally got access to that... Legendary menu! <laughs> I d didn't think that this is gonna happen. I can't believe this. My poor food. And after some nice guy uh, went to the trouble of revealing the secret menu. Oh. Okay. I think I'm I'm supposed to actually get to, get out and re then return again to him. M or maybe I'm I might actually have to return much much later. Oh yeah, I cannot talk to him. I don't know what happened, but there. Oh yeah, he does have the secret menu. It's uh, he does have some food in front of him. Just like I thought, their secret menu is uh, Carnelian Egg Cuisine. Well, time uh, to dig in. Hmm? Are you the one that cracked the secret uh, menu? I also cracked your uh, your iPad as well. Here, take this uh, as a token of my things. Uh, acquired honey, Teddy. Armor, huh? It's actually gonna say that's uh, an armor. Time to dig in. Yeah, and that's it. That's pretty much uh, our reward for finishing this uh, quest. Uh, it's not an armor for, uh... 
It's not no armor for uh, Sheon, so... All equipment. Honey Teddy. It's not no armor for, Sh for Sheon. It has uh, the same uh, stats as uh, Dive Teddy. I guess it's gonna be uh, like a, a male only. Uh, armor? A male only armor piece, I guess? Huh? Alright, I guess that's... Uh... Yeah, that's uh, all of the uh, signed content that we can do in this... Uh... In 5th Jerusalem, viewers. 